pull, there you go. Just now it's it. running. Right. Welcome, welcome to see Sparkles Corner. Today I'm going to share with you a recipe for cooking pork chops with getting grill marks over your stove top. Okay, so you start with this. You preheat your pan on five. Whoops, that burner doesn't work. Preheat your pan on five. Okay, and so I have two eggs and a half a cup of flour, and I'm going to use canola oil, garlic salt, oregano leaves, meat tenderizer. That was a mistake. Black pepper, salt, and parsley. Okay, so I've cleaned and prepared the pork chops earlier today. So, first you take your fork and poke little holes in it. Turn it over on one side. Turn it over. This is going to help to make sure it's tenderized. Okay, then we're going to take the black pepper and we're going to sprinkle it on there and then we're going to sprinkle the meat tenderizer on there the holes will get the meat tenderizer into it and then we're going to take our regular white salt and then our garlic salt and what we're going to do is rub this into your meat. Rub, 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 rub. Turn it, rub, rub, rub. And we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay. All right. Meanwhile, the pan is preheating. Okay, now we're going to rub again. Alright, we're done the rubbing part. And we're going to put all this stuff away. But I always put the stuff away so that way I don't accidentally do the thing twice. It's like a good thing. I already turned that and that. They like to have that up there. Okay, now we're going to take our fork. And I have two eggs in here, and I'm mixing up the eggs. Okay, just mixing the eggs. That's just going to help it stick. Now I'm going to take my oregano leaves, and I'm going to put that directly into the flour. Two pinches. And I love parsley, the smell of parsley. Two pinches of parsley. Now, the oregano leaves and the parsley have a different flavor and a different fragrance, so. Okay, so now I'm going to take a clean spoon and I'm going to mix the flour with those. Alright. Okay, so that's ready. Now the pan was preheating, so now I'm going to take the canola oil. Now if you don't like canola oil and you want to use vegetable oil or you want to use olive oil just feel free to. Now I'm going to turn the grill that grill up and make sure that's well done. Okay now I'm gonna take my pork chop rub it in the flour shake off the excess flour rub it in, in the egg mixture and then rub it back in the flour again and then I'm going to put it on the grill and I'm going to do that with each of them okay let me show you again you rub it in the flour then rub it in your egg mixture 
and then rub it back in your flour again. Okay. I always believe in making too much of the mixture you need instead of not enough. Okay. Now we're done with that and we're done with this. Now let me wash my hands again. cooking. I'm just fanatical about cleanliness. All right. Now we're going to turn this down. And let me flip it. got the beautiful grill marks. On it. Not done yet. device that helps you in the kitchen. This is called the meat thermometer. And it tells you right under it the temperature of the meat so you can tell when inside is completely done. See? Like for beef and pork, see? It's 160 temperature inside. So even though we can't see inside the meat, we can stick that in there and it will tell us. So, there we go. But you always let meat rest a few minutes before you cut it. Oh, need a knife to cut it. Plus the taste test. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna taste test mine. Okay. See, you put it in there like this. Ooh, it's too hot. That's one way you can do it, but with this meat being that small, you can do it this way. This meat isn't. This is another way you can check, and you can just look inside. 